Good morning, CSL. Pleasure to be here, and I wanted to uh, ask a question to start off. How many of you know about Gourmets for God? For those of you that don't know about Gourmets for God, this is a CSL community builder and fundraiser based on an auction which includes a variety of events all focused on food. So uh, I want to... And love. And love. Community. So I want to share a little bit about my experience of hosting an event for Gourmets for God this past year. And uh, I've been involved with events before and helped host and uh, bought food and things like that, but I'd never really cooked a dinner for 20 people, and that's what I stepped up and chose to do. And I thought, wow, that's exciting, and then it set in, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? Ever had that feeling where something is exciting at first, and then you realize you might have bit off more than you can chew? That was that feeling that I had. So, and in that instance, everything I've learned here kind of went out the window for a minute, and I just freaked out. And then I centered myself, and I said, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to ask for prayer support and really lean into my community and ask for any other additional help that might want to show up. And things started to happen. I got a person that offered to do all the desserts for my dinner. Yay. I went to buy the fish for my dinner and had an idea of what I was going to buy, and the fish guys were there, and I said, what do you think? And they said, no, you want to get this fish. It's more expensive, but it's better. You'll be happier with the results. And I went, you know, okay, somebody's speaking to me. And I go to check out, and the fish is on sale. <laughs> Unadvertised sale. A God sale. <laughs> Third thing is I had somebody offer to help me with all the prep work the day before the event. We were supposed to start in the morning on Saturday for a Sunday event and be all done, and then we'd go see Gypsy Soul in concert in Snohomish. Well, her son all of a sudden found out he had a soccer game on Saturday that started at 3. Well, this wasn't going to fit with our plans, but we went ahead with the part of getting the food all prepped for everything, and we got to a point where there was one thing left to do, and it was roast something in the oven. It was going to take two to three hours. And I said, do we have time? We had an hour to get from West Seattle to Snohomish. We made it there five minutes late. The concert hadn't started. In fact, Roman was there at the front, joking as I walked in, charge him double to get into the show. And this is a place that holds 100 people. Concert's about ready to start, virtually sold out. They let us in. We had seats in the second row. <laughs> Last thing that happened was the actual event, Sunday. It was beautiful. People had a great time. Music was wonderful. My guest, James Howard, was fabulous. Talked about all kinds of things I didn't know about him. How he taught children music, how songs came to him. People had a wonderful time. And that's how we built community that day. And so I leaned into my community to build community. I opened up to what was possible and stepped out of my comfort zone and paid attention. And I'm starting to want to live life that way even more fully and have a life that's not just a miracle every once in a while, but to where miracles become typicals. Mm. And to where this community is one that fosters that for everybody. Thank you.